Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo high score run of this week's, one of this week's Nightfalls, The Corrupted, in which I dropped this little beauty, The Horrors Least. It's the Nightfall specific reward, it's an arc pulse rifle, three, uh, 540 uh, rounds per minute, at 36 in the mag, Headseeker Dragonfly, I also put a Dragonfly mod on it to increase the range and damage from Dragonfly, so I, I really can't wait to get out there and give this one a go. We're using Blade Barrage on the Hunter, I'm using Midnight Coup, Subtle Calamity, uh, Dragonfly. On my armor I have three Transcendent Blessings and two Heavy Ammo Finders, they were quite important. I also like when I'm doing stuff with the Thunderlord, as you'll see on the helmet, I like to have uh, Machine Gun Reserves. It just gives you it, it gives you the 265 uh, rounds for the, for the, the Thunderlord. Solar Singe, because there's a lot of arc and a lot of void. We've took a 95 power handicap, and the other modifiers are heavyweight, momentum, and match game. So I tried to have a mi mix of damages. So we went void energy, arcs, arc heavy, and solar, solar super subclass. Simply because there's a massive mix of, of shields here. My suggestion for this because there's really like three three areas of this that can can cause a lot of problems and that's the this section you obviously you've got dance and ads they just move so much on on each side you've also got a healthy spattering of snipers and with solar singe that's uh can can be a problem e even if it wasn't solar singe getting hit by a couple of them when you've took that 95 power power hit can be uh, troublesome. I think if you were running this with a team, I think 300,000, it, it, you'd probably get it at a walking pace. I think I, I, think I ended up getting about 140 odd thousand. I still was losing points after the nightfall had finished, which isn't ideal. Uh, but I lost a lot of points because this is long winded. It's probably why it's not higher up in my personal list of nightfalls. The mechanics, it's different, it's difficult, you know, it's everything you want from a Nightfall Strike. Uh, interesting mechanics, but it's just so long. I mean, I, I missed out a couple of sections that still took me 22 minutes or something. It's 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 a very long-winded Nightfall, and that's my only, my only gripe with it. The boss mechanic's a little bit annoying as well, to be fair, but I mean, it is what it is, I suppose. You know, I'm not going to mourn too much because we we have nightfalls in, in the ranks that can be done in eight minutes. You know, high score runs that can be done in twelve. So I'm I'm not really going to have too much of a. I'm not going to bother too much about about the the length of this. Now, one thing I will add, and I I say it every time you guys will probably get bored of me saying it. Make sure you switch weapons because what I found in this Nightfall more than any other one was I really struggled with heavy drops. And it, a couple of times I might have actually picked up heavy and didn't realise that I picked it up. But I just felt as if uh, you need the heavy, you, you need to attack, you know, because a lot of the ads here clusters. You can see I've jumped past all of these ads. I don't bother because of the time, it's a time issue. There aren't many yellow bars here. If there had have been, I might have, I might have went after one or two of them. But a lot of them are just shielded reds, so it's the points would be good. But you know, we're already sitting at forty three thousand. So the mechanics here is very simple. Once you activate the lift, you're going to get a heap of ads that are going to spawn in. I try and take all of them straight away. So what I've got my super, we're going to fire the super and mop anything up that's left. Now, just because of the nature of these ads, you know, you're always going to miss one or two. So you've done that, you've dealt with all the ads that you can think of, you've got momentum, you just need to keep moving because the, these ads, for me, are the most aggressive I've encountered in a strike. These three ads will be behind you 
nearly all the time. They would just come running at you all the time. So as you can see, I took one down, one, one, one of the shields down. I took him straight away. That's one off the playing field. You know, we've got two left. And and they will, they will just run after you. So the idea is to draw them to a side, run past them, pick up the relic as you're running past it, and, and get it fired off at them. Now we took another one down. It's, an, it's a boss. So I, I was very aware that the other ad was would have the other uh, shielded ad would have been encroaching me. He'd have been pushing me. So I didn't really want to stand. That's why I, I jumped out of the firefight before he was dead. I didn't really want to stand in one place because as you can see, they just they just run after you. Now that you've cleared you've cleared that first wave. Yeah, the first the first part of the mechanic, you're in the second part, you're gonna get another wave of ads. Do the same thing. Clear as many as you can with the Thunderlord. You don't really want these ads roaming about. But the the beauty of this second part is the the, the shielded ads are more territorial. So they're not so likely to come charging halfway across the map to find you. They kind of stick to their, their areas. So you can manipulate it a bit a bit better, as you'll see me do. Uh, so there's, you know, there's there's two kind of easily shielded. They're, they're like kind of weak yellow bars. There's one. And he will try and shield, of which I will just duck down. And then finish him off. That's one down. Now, the, the orbs are, they do provide some cover for you. Where, where the orbs are, there that actually has cover. As long as you stay stay kind of tight in against the wall, those taking balls that are flying around the center, they won't they won't hit you as long as you're tight. And there we go. All we've got left is the knight. And once 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 I seen it was only the knight, that's when I realised there was still some taken up. And there was still a boss because I never killed him. Because he had the other one shield. So now we know all we've got left is is this guy. So what I done was I kind of just stayed on this wall. Just for a couple of shots. And I, I, I think you'll, you'll see more in a minute. I kind of stood on the wall and took the orbs from on top of the wall. I might not have done it this run actually. Because this was my third attempt at this. And all times I got to the boss... All the times I got to the boss, I just took me, it seemed like a lot longer to get the mechanics right. There we go. Stand on here, jump up, throw the orb, go back up on the wall, take the orb, do the same thing. And then we can move back, because he's, he's pushed, he's pushed us, but he won't push us from halfway across the map. He's just pushed to the other side of his area. So I'm getting hit because I'm on the taken, and I was standing here trying to get the last hits on him, thinking, "Go and get your health back. Go and get your health back. Just go and get your health back." And that's it's it's always worth making sure you've got full health before you re-engage. And that's this section done. So the next section, basically up to the ogre part, you've got some shielded knights. Uh, and, that's, and, and, and some shriekers. So what I do here is I t try and take all the kind of normal, all the acolytes, and then, you know, uh, get them low, just to try and get some heavy. As you can see, he dropped heavy. And then take one. He ran away. They do that. If you don't take the knight down, they will run away. Uh, take down the shrieker. It's not really too too difficult. Once you take the shrieker down, th that blast will continue to come and it's it hurts. So try and move out the way of it. Don't just take down the shrieker and stand there. And same again, take him down low. Waste of a blade, uh, throwing knives. And just finish him off. Like I say, I, I'm constantly, whenever I do stuff like this, I'm constantly watching my heavy ammo. Because it just... You know, this becomes a completely different thing with no heavy ammo. When they put their shield up, be ready to fire as soon as you see the shield come down. Because if you don't, if you let the shield come down then fire, their, their arc shield will come straight back up. 
and it can become a bit bit of a, a nightmare. For anybody that's interested, if you don't already have these things, there is a Bones of Arm Carver, which I, I didn't go and get because I've already got it. And I, I didn't think about it till literally just now. When it goes ascendant, it's behind us. I'm sure that there will be other people that have put stuff up on YouTube how to get it. But this is where it is. You go at the top of the stairs here. I'll, 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 I'll tell you exactly when you can go and get it. When you've killed the second ogre, the one that goes in the ascendant realm, it will stay ascendant. You can come back down these stairs and go to the... If you're coming back down the stairs to the left, but it's behind us to the right of where we're, we're, we're facing now. And you go through a little opening and it's on a black crystal. Uh, and that's the first one. There is another one. The other one's very easy to get. I'll point out the, the location, the rough location. So as you can see, you've got a, a thing here. A buff. You had a buff. A castaway. Uh... Just, just just, before I, I call that buff out, as you can see, I'm just trying to take some of those Acolytes out because every run I'd done, when I took the Acolytes out, I got, uh, I got, I got, uh, heavy ammo. So this castaway seems to be, the minute you start attacking the Ogre, you'll get something, a buff called castaway. As you can see, it's not up on the screen. But the minute you attack the boss, you'll get this cat. We're not going to get it now because we're nowhere in the ascendant. We've killed the the regular realm ogre. But whilst both ogres are up, you'll get a buff called Castaway, which is a 10 second buff. That's how long you've got to do damage to that ogre before you go to the next realm. And it lasts until you kill one of them. So there is still points in here, but time. As you can see, I've got heavy. You always get a brick of heavy there. If you can take out those void acolytes, you always get a brick of heavy here. Now, if I'd have known then what I know now, I would not have fought these enemies. I know there's a bit of points to be, to be had here, but it's time. I would have scored more at the boss because I'd done it to get heavy because I've got, you know, 83 rounds and I did not get one brick of heavy here. I've got two heavy ammo finder, heavyweight drops heavy more regular, and I did not get any heavy here. Now, what I've come to realize is that, right, so I'm, I'm using the Midnight Coup, trying to get heavy. If you don't drop any heavy within five five or six kills, switch to your, ne your, your next weapon. If you don't get any kills then, use one of your abilities. Don't just keep using one and thinking that, you know, if it's not dropping, then there's a chance that it'll drop more regular with something else. It just seems to be the way it is. That might not be scientifically correct. <laughs> you know, someone from Bungie might, you know, doubtful, but someone from Bungie might see this and go, no, that's not the way it works. But it seems to work for me. If I'm not getting it with my kinetic and I switch to my energy, I normally drop it. But here... The only thing I think I didn't get a kill with, and now saying it, sounds like it may have been the one, was my grenade. I used my my thrown knife, I used energy, and I used kinetic. So I basically clear this room, apart from the yellow bar, I started to attack him. But the, the best way to take him down was heavy. And uh, that was the whole point of killing everything here, was to try and get some heavy. Uh, so the only thing left here is the big yellow bar. I haven't dropped any heavy ammo. I'm just checking. No heavy. Really disappointing. And I think, I'll come here. I'll, I'll take him down. The minute he put his bubble up, I threw a grenade, thinking the grenade would take him. It's solar. And it didn't. And I thought, you know what? I'll get my health back, and I'm out. Just too much time wasted trying to take him down. My my suggestion would be just just go. Forget about him. Now, from now to the boss, we're just going to hightail it and get to the boss. We're not going to bother fighting any more ads. Really. I think I take out some on the rocks just to, just to try for heavy ammo. And I did actually get a brick. 
So uh, be very careful with those void ball things because the, the, they can kill you. They can. They can hit you into the wall. I, I basically use my bush jump to move me away from them and just fall all the way down through the portal. So we're going to try and take some of these... Uh, some of these uh, acolytes, the void shielded acolytes that are on the rocks, just to try and get some heavy ammo. One brick and I'll be good, because the, I'm going to be honest, the the boss fight for the corrupted is probably my least favorite boss fight in the game. As you can see, there's some heavy there. I just find it very annoying. So I got the heavy. Couldn't find that other guy and thought, I'm, I'm just running out of time here. Got 153,000 and we're nearly at the 15 minute mark. I'm really going to be pushed at the end. If you can just get past that room, the room that, uh, with the staircase where you go down. I probably wouldn't now, thinking about it. And if I could go back, it's, it, you actually could just run past that whole room, you know. If you can do it. And with momentum you stand a better chance. You've got two snipers at each side. But if you're moving in that direction. If you're moving downwards. It's harder for them to hit you. So now we're at the boss. Now the mechanic here is very simple. But it's it's you've got to contain the spawns. And as you'll see here in the video. It's difficult to contain the spawns. So you're going to have yellow bar throw. They they multiply like nobody's business. So they're the ones you've kind of got to take. So as soon as you come down, put some heavy into clearing as many of the ads you can. Now, I'm going to be very honest with you. I probably didn't use my heavy as well as I would have liked. But it, only because I've, I, I was worried about my heavy. If you come in here with full heavy, you could probably just melt melt the whole thing. So, we know we've got those guys. We know we've got sh Solar Shielded. And that's the way I deal with the Solar Shielded. It's just grenade or a throwing knife. And take their shield down and finish them with, with my primary. I could see them multiplying. So the grenade worked. Those scions are just so aggressive with their, with their multiplying. So, three orbs. Three orbs is enough. So, we've hit with two. Just check. She's got very little left on her shield. So, we're going to push up towards her location. We're going to throw the last shield and then just throw the last orb. Take her shield down and melt. Now, if you get the melt on, uh, she, she won't do her mechanic of uh, shove you up in the air and then push. So as you can see, I fired my blade barrage because I knew there was going to be solar there. Missed all of the solar by the looks of it. And I wasn't in too much trouble. Uh, but, uh, you know, just be very careful at that part. Try, if you're, if you're going to fire your blade barrage, just make sure that you're you're in a position where you can, as you can see, the second wave spawned in. I never even had a chance to, to talk about that. First wave spawns down here. Normally, Billy Barrage takes 90% of them. And the second wave spawns up by her. So, it's a good way to get heavy. Because, the, you know, your, your lightning will, will deal with a lot of the adds. Just, as you can see, you take a lot of damage. So, you have to, you know... It's almost like stick and move, you know, get them, get get your shots in, then move. So, that's kind of what you have to do there. And again, shots off, and then move. Shots off, then move. It doesn't matter what, what way you do that. It doesn't matter how well you're doing here. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have to get shots off, then move. So... What we're doing now is we're trying to get them to group. And that's why you're moving. You're getting your shots and then you're moving. Because you want the acolytes to follow and you want them to group. We have took a massive, massive heap of them out there. We can take this guy here now. 
and that leaves us two. So I took him with the heavy just because I, I only had, uh, I only had enough kind of uh, energy to wait a couple of seconds to get my knives back. So if I'd have used them, if I'd have waited and used them on the first guy, I'd have still had to deal with the second guy. So we've took all the ads out. So the first wave spawns, the, as soon as you come in, the first wave spawns here. Then once you take, once you take uh, Sadir's shield and then deal damage, the second wave will spawn here on this side. And then a couple of seconds later, the third wave will spawn up by where she is now. So, as you can see, I've hit two. I'm going to go down here for the third. Because this is where the portal will spawn. And there's more heavy. And we just get the melt on. But you don't get a lot of melt. Because she, she wants none of it. She just wants to leave. So, I think I'm slightly in front of where the portal actually is. So... Just for safety's sake, to show you that there's no need to rush or do anything fancy, I just take these snipers. There's two snipers on this first rock, and a shielded taken knight. And Sadia sometimes will just hang about until you take down that knight. I was lucky here, maybe I'd done more damage than I expected, but she didn't do it. The other two runs I had on this, she waited. As you can see, she's across the rock there. And the other runs, she she would wait until I killed the knight. So it was like, it was a little bit frustrating because she does a fair bit of damage to you whilst you're actually fighting the knight. But as you can see here, she decided to go. So I must have done a bit more damage than I'd done the other times. Take down the sniper. Nope, she's still there. She's still waiting. And the knight's down. Try and get my momentum propped. And just... Now watch out for the debris as well. Don't just go jumping across. The debris can... It, it can... Uh, kill you. <laughs> That's exactly what it'll do. It'll hit you and it'll kill you. So there's no debris coming. Get across. You'll get your momentum as you get across. And there are two red barn... Uh, shielded uh, knights normally here so I've got nothing got to fire my super which was good that I had it but I mean I would have preferred to have kept it so now what we're going to do because I'm looking at the time we're just going to try and move as fast as possible without jumping into debris as you can see I was going to jump and at the last minute I thought I would check which is a good idea because there was debris so, when you get up here, this is the final section. You're going to have a wave of ads that are going to spawn across to the left. So, as you can see, I'm trying to go around and head them off. I couldn't get there in time. I think there's only a couple here. But the rest come, come this direction anyway. Now, that attack that she does, when you hear her scream, it's kind of worth trying to get away from wherever you are. If you're moving, she can't. She shouldn't be able to, to do that attack because it it's not a it's it's not a tracer attack. It's an area attack. It's it's where you are. She'll do it to. So as you can see, I'm just trying to stay moving. And just get the throws off on her. As we know, it's three. And as you can see, if you're not fast enough, the end of the attack will hit you. But it didn't really matter. Because we got the melt. And I was very lucky, as I said, as I showed at the start of the video, to get the the Horrors Least Pulse Rifle. I hope you enjoyed the run, guys. I certainly always enjoy doing doing these runs. Uh, and as I said in, in my last video, I, I'd done... Uh, I'd done well over thousands. That solo with 100Ks up. Uh, at the end of the week, I will get the first part of my three-week challenge. I'm not going to say too much more about what the three-week challenge is. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. It's always a pleasure. Uh, I'm glad that you guys have stuck with me. Uh, let's hope 2019 is a big year for all of us. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.